Hey everybody, Clump here with TTM video number four. Yesterday I got back three successful returns and two eBay purchases. One of which went out in the mail this afternoon, so I'll save that as a surprise. First return I'll show you is Bryn Smith. This was a four of four success in five weeks. Yeah, it must have got lost. Brent Smith played from 81 to 93 for three different teams, the Expos, the Cardinals, and the Rockies. He had a lifetime win-loss of 108 wins and 94 losses, lifetime ERA of 3.53, and 1,028 strikeouts. Brent Smith's most notable accomplishment was probably the fact that he got the Colorado Rockies their first win as a franchise. I got the 89 Fleer. The 87 Fleer, the 87 Tops, which is probably the best looking autograph of the group. That looks sweet, and his autograph is really nice when you can see it. And I got, what is this, the 89 or the 90 Tops big? I'm not sure. I'd have to look, but I really don't feel like it. And I haven't seen many of these at all. TTM, so I thought that'd be a good one to send. Second one I'll show you was a 4 of 4 success in about 10 days, and that was Mr. Greg Gagne. Greg Gagne played for 15 years from 83 to 97 for three different teams the Twins, the Royals, and the Dodgers. While with the Twins, they won two World Series. He's got a lifetime batting average of 254, 111 home runs, and 604 RBIs. After he retired, he became a high school baseball coach, and to this day, he's still considered a hero by Twins fans. He's in the Twins Hall of Fame, and mostly due to his extraordinary postseason play, including... World Series game-winning home runs and RBIs and his amazing defensive skills at shortstop. Greg, I got this sweet 88 Fleer that looks beautiful. I got the 87 Tops, which looks just as good, if not better. You can see he always puts the Bible verses on his, like Frank Tanana. I got the 1990 Tops. And I got the 87 Fleer, which got ate up by the colors a bit, but still wonderful. And my final success was a one of one success in five weeks, but I expected this one to take a while. I'm just happy to have got it back. Mr. Jeremy Roenick. Jeremy Roenick was a beast. He played from 88 to 2009 for six NHL teams and other Canada League teams and I don't know what all other teams, but the six NHL teams are the Blackhawks, the Coyotes, the Flyers, the Kings, and the Sharks. And he played for the Coyotes two different times. In that time, he was a nine-time All-Star, playing 1,360 games. He got 513 goals, 703 assists. Just a beast. He played for the 2002 U.S. Olympic team and should be in the Hall of Fame. But due to much controversy, he probably never will be. Jeremy Roenick's been in trouble for things such as cussing at fans, throwing water bottles at officials, and then after his playing days, in his broadcasting days, he got in a lot of trouble. While working for NBC, he was doing a podcast, and he made some very inappropriate comments about his female co-workers at NBC. He also co-hosted episodes of The Best Damn Shorts Faux Period, and then... In 2010, he went back to NBC and actually was commentating alongside one of the women he made one of those comments about. 
He's also been the ju a judge on the CBC's Battle of the Blades, a skating competition show they got. And he has been on TV shows such as Leverage, Ghost Whisperer, and Bones. Mr. Jeremy Roenick, a legend. Reminds me of myself a bit. And my purchases. The one's already gone. The one I'll show you. Mr. Corey Schlesinger. At the time he played... He and Jason Hansen were about the only two guys on the Lions that could play football at all. I loved watching Corey Schlesinger play. I was overjoyed to see that he TTMs, and I can't wait to get it out and get it back. All right, everybody. That's it for TTM number four. Good luck to you all with your returns. Be cool.